my name is Ernesto Reyes. I'm a MAN student, um, 2016, and today I'm going to be talking about a speech that I used to give in my past job. I used to work for the strategic strategic office on my on my last job, and one of the things we 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 did was um, to try to explain to all the all the people in the in the organization what was the strategic uh, process that the company used and also uh, why it was so important for everybody to be aligned with the strategy okay so how do, how does uh, the this begins right we need to figure out we need to think about the strategic process as a big uh, pyramid or as a as a triangle right so in the in the in the top of the pyramid uh, we have what we call the philosophical part of the of the strategic process right then in the middle we have a uh, more <clears throat> qualitative things that we're going to do in order to 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 accomplish this strategy and also in the bottom we we'll, we we'll also have more quantitative things of things that we need to do but in a very more detailed way uh, in order to accomplish it, right? So, <clears throat> like I was saying, in the top of a pyramid, is uh, is kind of like the philosophical part of this strategic planning, right? Uh, we have what is called the vision and the mission of the company. Okay, of course, we already know what what's that. The the vision of the company is where the company uh, wants to be in in certain years, in five years, ten years, whatever they decide, right? The mission is why the company exists why why do we do this uh, uh, for who do we do this right those and and I say this the, the philosophical part because uh, this part of the strategy has to be something like like inspires people you know okay so now in the middle <clears throat> of the pyramid we have what we call the the goals of the company right? And it's more like a, a like in a macro macro level. These goals these goals are like really macro. Like we have financial goals. Of course, we have operation goals. We have uh, marketing goals, and every uh, other department that the company has, right? <clears throat> so the 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 thing here is that we need to align these goals that we want to accomplish with the mission of the and, and the vision that are on the top of the pyramid right so this this is this part is crucial um we, we need to to <clears throat> to understand uh why why do we want to accomplish these goals right and that's why we have this pyramid <clears throat> then behind this uh, i mean below this um these goals that are on the middle of the pyramid uh we have what we call the the strategies right of how we of how we are gonna accomplish these goals, so we have uh, specific strategies depending on, on what department of the company we are uh, we are talking about, right? So each department has to also figure out kind of like their own uh, vision or mission of their own department, but that is aligned to to the goal they want to accomplish and at the same time this goal is aligned to the to the vision and the mission of the company okay so what's what's the 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 most important thing here right we need to we need to know what's the the we need to have clear in our mind why do we do the work that we do and also we need to know that as a company or as an organization, we we cannot act like a like in silos. We need to work in group. We need to be team players in order to accomplish these goals that are in the in the bottom of the pyramid, right? In order to help the company accomplish uh, this uh, their vision and their mission. This is why is uh, uh, this is why it's so important to work in teams to to help each other and 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 to care about what other people uh, is doing and to be in in more innovative in order for for the company to succeed in what in what they're looking for 